Honestly, I wasn't impressed when this one video did around $286, but then I took the next video and this video did $378, but I still was like, eh, that ain't all that. And then the video after that did almost a thousand damn dollars in just a few minutes. All right, but then when I was sold, I was really sold when I had one video do 6,200 something damn dollars. All right, <laughs> so that's from a 30 minute freaking video, guys. And you wonder why these people are making freaking videos on YouTube. I don't like being called a YouTuber, but when you can pull numbers like that, it's like, what are you staying at a nine to five job for? A lot of you guys feel like, oh, well, um, you know, I don't have anything to talk about. Well, there's channels where people are recording themselves at freaking work. And those channels have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they're making more money on the channels than they are making at the job, but they keep the job so that they can continue the benefits that they're getting for like health and other reasons like that, you know, health insurance and stuff, right? And content, easy content. You ain't gotta make up nothing, right? On top of that, so one of the biggest channels I watch is this guy who films what happens at the gas station. He just works at the gas station and girls come in there and try to flirt with him and stuff like that. Then there's this other guy that just has a warehouse job and he shows himself working the forklift. Then he goes on break and talks about the struggles of working a warehouse job and stuff like that. Guys, everybody that's on YouTube is not a Mr. Freaking Beast. All right, you don't have to be a Mr. Beast or some some super entertaining personality or nothing like that. There's this other girl that inspired me to do this damn video for real, for real. Subscribe to her channel is called Doe Dash. Doe, like bread dough dash. Anyway, she literally started off just recording her thoughts when she's out in between doing deliveries for Door Dash. You understand what I'm saying? Now her channel is blown up. Uh, giving commentary on her like job experience and stuff like that and she's monetized and making a lot of money and praising God and all of that extra stuff. Dude, if you can take your phone right now and you can get six thousand damn dollars just from recording yourself talking about something that you know, okay? If you've been in the divorce before and you've overcome the divorce, there is an audience of men that are going through a divorce, about to get divorced, or just came out of the divorce and looking for a community and have no idea what to do and feel freaking lonely. If you're trying to overcome like weight loss struggles and all of that type of stuff, it's people that are on YouTube just talking about that and all of that. You can do that, right? Like. You don't even have to be fit yet. You can record your journey and monetize that. If you are good at cooking, you can monetize, uh, you know, videos of yourself preparing dinner every night for your family. Like you, that's something you have to do anyway. If you're a real mother, right? You got to prepare dinner, lunch and dinner and all that. If you homeschool your kids, there's channels of that. People trying to figure out how to properly homeschool their children, dealing with the courts and all of that stuff. You can literally film the curriculum that you give your children and how you work that out and everything. If you travel, blah, blah, blah. The, like the ideas are endless, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so this is, is there is no need for you to have a nine to five job anymore. So when you saw all of these people, uh, you know, talking about their numbers on YouTube, from AdSense or course sales and all of that stuff, and you think, ah, that ain't real. Well, I just showed you that. I'm not, I don't even consider myself as a YouTuber. I'm on the platform and I use the channel to bring people to my school, where I teach people how to emancipate themselves from uh, the plantation of nine to five jobs. I don't really sell too much of that on this channel, so if you want the digital marketing, all that type of stuff, you will go over to the anti-agency channel. It'll be in the first pinned comment where you can learn all the technical stuff and opportunities like that. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys proof that, yo, when you see these people, you know, these influencers posting their, posting their earnings and stuff like that, it's real. You know, the first video did a couple hundred. 
The next one did a few hundred. Then another one did another few hundred. And then I just showed y'all the one that did 900 something. And I'm like, hold on. <laughs> This ain't no joke. Hold up, right? There's not there's a little bit more than penny candy money right there. And then we had one video. Let me I don't think y'all understand. This is just one video. Okay? The video got 337,000 views. This is when ChatGPT first came out. I put my unique spin on it. It wasn't like anybody else's videos. And that was able to accumulate that amount of views plus six thousand two hundred something dollars, dog. That means if that video did a million, if it did a million views, guys, <laughs> it would have been way over ten thousand dollars on one freaking video. I didn't do any editing in that video. I did a screen share, and I was just displaying my skills and expertise. Uh, in combination with this new tool, right? This new, you know, ChatGPT tool. And this is what you see, the, this is what these everyday influencers are doing. You wonder why they upload? Yo, how come they upload? Don't they have better stuff to do? Dog, you know what I can do with $6,000? You know the vacation you can take your family on or something like that with a, just, just $6,000? You understand? Most of you guys don't get that with your income taxes. <laughs> Most of you guys don't get that with with uh, uh, you know any type of job benefit or something like that until like years and years and years and years put in at the job later, right? You know what I'm saying? So this is a 30 minute video, 35. Which one of your jobs, if you're watching this right now, which one of you guys can say that your job pays you $6,000 for half an hour of work? If you cannot say that, then you need to get on these social media platforms. Stop consuming the content and become a producer of the content. You're still using the same devices. You're still using your computer. Nobody's telling you to get rid of your computer. You love your computer. You want to watch your Netflix and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Nobody's telling you to get rid of your phone. Nobody's telling you to delete TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or anything. Oh, is rotting your brain. Yes, if you are a consumer only. Everybody consumes a bit, but you want to be productive by being a producer, a creator of content. So let's say that you love watching movies. See, see, a lot of you guys like think you have no other option. You feel like you have to stay at your job. You're like, okay, I would love to be a content creator or an influencer online or something, but I have no idea what to create some type of channel or content about. What are you freaking like doing? All the generations of, of humanity's existence, we've always wanted to make money with our passion or something that we just like entertaining and that stuff. This is literally the day and age where you can do that. What do I mean? <laughs> Let's say you binge watch Netflix series. There's literally channels. Tell me you guys haven't seen this, where a movie trailer will come out and then within 10, 15 minutes, it's another huge channel reacting to the movie trailer and talking about how good they think the movie's gonna be and the lore behind it and stuff, or how many episodes a season of a TV show, the 100, the Flash ended, you know, I love that show, the Flash, uh, you know, oh, they're thinking about doing a new Blade movie with Wesley Snipes instead of Mahershala Ali and all of that extra stuff. <laughs> like, it's people literally just sitting and doing, like, reactions and reviews to this stuff. Speaking of reviews, if you purchase a lot of stuff off of Amazon. Dog, like you can review those and, you, and Amazon has an affiliate program where you can get paid if people watch the video and then go and purchase the product that you bought from Amazon through your link in the first pin comment. This is why they always telling you to go to the first pin comment. <laughs> Right? So it's no excuses for you to keep a job. I understand about 15, 20 years ago or something, y'all. But if you can sit, in the time that you can sit and stroll with your freaking finger or your thumb on social media for the two, three freaking hours, that's two, three hours of content that you could have easily just reacted to, created a review to, 
uh, you know, took down notes. Let's say you watch the video where some you watch, you joined somebody's webinar and you took notes and then you bought it and you had a bad experience of their course or something. That's literally a video that you can do. Everything you experience throughout the day is a video. Have you ever heard of a freaking mukbang? You know how much money? Look at the Nick Ricardo or Nick Avocado dude. The dude got to 400, 500 freaking pounds because <laughs> he built an audience that just sits there and watch him gorge on freaking food all day. Overeating all freaking day. Like literally built an audience off of that. Who the hell goes to YouTube with their free time, types in watching other people eat. There is fetishes and weird audiences for everything, guys. So if y'all think that you can make money being some type of influencer and leave your job, quit that damn job finally and live your freaking life, you are sadly mistaken. There's a channel, a, a gross channel, okay? And I'm not gonna like, you know, put no images or nothing like that, but there's a gross channel where all they do is film the removal of blackheads. So they just, the, the videos are literally just people like just popping bumps, removing blackheads from people's faces in different places, removing parasites and, and like popping bumps and getting rid of, like I said, like just weird stuff, you know, uh, getting rid of hangnails and and fungus and all type of stuff and moles and stuff and these videos be having hundreds of millions of freaking views imagine that hundreds of millions of views on videos just from <laughs> just from removing blackheads and what do they sell oh that's cool because they monetize it with the ads and they make it a killer but that's cool not just that what happens is they will monetize it with face creams in the comments and the description description little tools to remove the blackheads or the, the the bumps or whatever it is that that you're gonna remove uh from yourself after you watch the freaking videos that is freaking crazy and don't even let me get started with animal channels me and my wife we was watching um uh some video where Dude, they do like they combine the niche with pets. So they got this big, giant, beautiful pit bull, and they do mukbangs with the pit bull. So they like put a little little bib situation around the the pit bull, sit it at a table. It got a little desk, and the cameras on them, and the dog just sitting there attentively, just like patiently waiting for the meal. And then they just sit some gigantic plate of like like huge portions of beef or shrimp and lobster and fancy meals and stuff and <laughs> the dog just start chowing down and people literally watch it this this dog don't even know what's going on he just eating like and, and and they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of this damn dog just sitting there eating different things that's that's it. No talent whatsoever. They just was wise enough. They were wise enough to just put the camera on their dog. The dog going to eat anyway. So imagine you just grabbing your camera right now saying, hmm, what food don't I want? And you just put it all on a plate. You just aim it at your dog and you just let the dog eat and you name it a dog mukbang. That's what they freaking did. And they do this with like parrots and all different types of animals and stuff, dog. It don't take rocket science for you to become an influencer. It don't even have to be you. It could be your dog, cat, brother, sister, mother, aunt. You understand? Like it could be complete strangers. I mean, Mr. Beast, his first video that popped off was him just taking a $10,000 loan that he didn't have and said, hmm, hopefully this video makes me at least $10,000 in AdSense. And he just gave the $10,000 to strangers. That was the video. No skill whatsoever. And he still keeps that same blueprint. He really blew the hell up when he started buying billboards all over town to get people to subscribe to PewDiePie when PewDiePie was in the middle of battling with T-Series. That's really how Mr. Beast became him. He lit, just filmed himself doing something nice for somebody. What the hell? 
where is the talent in the, the strategic? I mean, it's strategic, but you get what I'm saying. My point is, guys, any old schlop watching this right now, if you're on the couch right now, you can film yourself just being a schlop on the, <laughs> name it couch potato. And you just sit and watch your favorite series while you eat chips and look like the Nutty Professor. <laughs> like, that's that's it. I guarantee you people will start watching that because it's an audience of people that feel just like that. When they get off work, they just want to Al Bundy pull, unzip the pants or pull their gut out and just eat and just watch TV. It's an audience of that. So they'll relate to that and they'll watch you do that. And you'll get paid. So don't hesitate, guys. If you really want to leave your job, this is the age of social media. If you don't know real technical business skills, if you do, if you got a passion, then I would strongly suggest you go. At, I mean, if you got a gift and a purpose, I would strongly suggest you go after that gift and that purpose. But even when you're going after that gift or that purpose, I don't care if it's you being some type of dancer. I don't care if it's you being a doctor. Freaking, uh, what is that? Uh, Adul, uh, what is that Indian guy? He was a, a doctor and he filmed his, uh, his, his journey through medical school and all of that extra stuff. Ali Abdul or something like that. Yeah, he's one of the biggest guys on the platform now. Get millions of views and stuff. So even if you have a gift or a purpose and you think it's you say, ah, why am I going to be some influencer? I'm more mature than that. That's for kids or something. You better still put a camera on yourself while you're doing that gift or that purpose. Put a camera on yourself and just have your wife or your brother or your sister or somebody upload it. You ain't even got to manage it. Just <laughs> make sure it's being documented like Gary Vandertuck would say. Just make sure you're being documented while you do what you do because those are the biggest like stories out there. So don't think you have to be some Mr. Beast entertainment type and don't think you have to be some genius marketing dude or something guru Alex Hormozy type in order to have a huge following and to make money on social media. And to tell you the truth, you don't even have to have a huge following to make money on social media. So just I just showed y'all. It ain't even a million views. There's people that get millions of views every single day. This is my biggest video. Ever. You understand what I'm saying? But it's people that get this every day. So imagine that. You got a $337,000 video. I mean, 337,000 view video every day that brings you in $6,000. I used to watch uh, Grant, not Grant Cardone. Uh, freaking, I can't even think of his name. I want to say Grant Gustin, but that's The Flash. <laughs> the actor from The Flash. Oh, uh, what is his damn name? Grant, he he does the real estate stuff. Y'all know who I'm talking about, golly. Anyway, um, it, it won't come to mind right now, but he used to always be transparent and show his AdSense earnings, you know, and all of that extra stuff. And this dude um, <laughs> used to make like six to $10,000 a day just in AdSense without even having to really like, like, do too much. She just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So imagine that. Like, that's what's happening out here for real. Like, it took hell for me to figure out that out right there. Like, that wasn't even intentional. Well, part of it was, but I didn't know it was going to blow up to that effect. Now, I definitely didn't know it was going to pay me that much, but it did. So now, what are you going to do? Are you going to ignore that? and keep your nine to five job, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do?